newest trend in the nail world is the jelly nails. So if you guys want to see how I achieved this jelly nail design in gel nails, just keep watching. So to start this design, I've removed her past set because this set will be jelly nails, so they need to be see-through. And I've prepped her nails and used Egoista's acid-free primer. I'm using all Egoista products. So I'm using their gel brush and their clear gel. And I'm just sculpting out a pointy set on the tip. So I just want to make sure that the sidewalls are fully covered in gel. And then I make sure to overlap the gel over top of the nail so that when I take the forms off, the gel doesn't come off too. I do one nail at a time and then I switch back and forth between both hands and cure them in between each nail. After all 10 nails are cured, I come back in and now I'm just doing a thin base layer over top of the whole nail from cuticle to tip. After I've cured all these nails, I would normally take off the forms and file them into the exact shape that I wanted. But because these are going to be clear, I didn't want to create any extra dust or bubbles, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to apply a thin layer of clear gel from cuticle to tip so that the angel paper has something to stick to. I buy this angel paper online in sheets, and then I just cut them up to the size I want. So make sure you check my description box. I'll try to find a link to where you can get these. I am flash curing each nail so that that clear gel doesn't seep into the sidewalls at all and so that my design stays exactly where I placed it. You also want to make sure that your angel pieces are laid nice and flat onto the nail and are not seeping off the sides at all. So now I'm going to be encapsulating this design in clear gel. So what I'm doing here is applying my slip layer. So this is the layer of gel that you want to put down before your big bead. So this will help your builder bead go exactly where you need it to go. So I take a big blob of clear gel and I place it near the cuticle area and then I turn my brush and go back and forth from side to side and I drag it down to the center. I make sure to build an apex as well and to help self leveling I have her flip her hand upside down before going into the light and curing. Egoista brand hard gel does not have a heat spike so it's really nice to use and it's also a medium to thicker viscosity making it nice and easy to maneuver around and it self levels really nicely. In order to not create tons of bubbles, you'll just want to make sure to not overwork your gel. And again, I am having her stick her hand in the light before switching to the next finger. That way the gel won't move around or slide into the cuticles, sidewalls, or anything like that. So I'm just having her cure each finger and then I switch hands and go back and forth. So I'm just going to go over finish filing really quick here. After curing her nails, I take a 100 to 180 grit file and go over the sidewalls. Then I switch to a ceramic flame bit and I'm just debulking the nails. Then I come back in with a hand file and fix up my shape and go over the whole nail to make it nice and even. And then I buff the nails. So I had my model wash her hands and I'm using the Egoista's metallic gels. So these are kind of like syrup glass gels that you can do over top of glass nails or over top of their metallic polish. So I do have a video already up showing you guys all the colors that they have in this collection and I'll link it in the top corner. So this blue one is number two and I am applying it underneath the nail as well to give it a little bit more color and dimension.
For the green metallic polish, this is number seven. So I'm applying this on the ring finger and the pointer finger, and these are the nails that will have the crystals on them. When applying crystals on top of gel, I don't like to use any kind of resin because I find it slides around and takes forever to dry. So instead I use Ugly Duckling Stick It. It's kind of like a gel glue. So you put it on and then you apply your crystals and it doesn't move around, which is great. And all the crystals seen here in this design are from Crystal Princess. So you will want to give that a full cure. And then now I'm applying my top coat. So the top coat I'm using here is Egoista brand and it's the rubber top coat. So you're just gonna apply this over top of the whole nail, but don't get it on top of your crystals because it will ruin the shine. Just push it nice and close to them so that it can seep under the sides of them. That'll help secure it a little bit easier. So give that top coat a full cure, and here is the finished design. Hope you guys like this design as much as I do. I just absolutely love the angel paper with the gel on top. It's just so shiny and looks so cool. So have you guys tried the jelly trend yet? If you have, let me know down below which colors you've done. Make sure to check my description box for everything in this video, and I do have a code for Egoista. It's Sarah S15 to get 15% off. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Keep your nails long and your glitter strong. Thank you.